the top toss it. Another wanker from Red Rook. Cliff Blackett, fisherman extraordinaire. Well, have we got? Have say, we, I say, I can we can we have a quiet word with him? He's a bit rubbish, you know. But... Can we have a word with him? Hey, can we have a word with the gentleman? Yes. Can we? Can we, can we, can we oh, it's He's a bit camera shy, don't we? Uh, what do you think? We're expecting him to see him. Hey. No, I don't. Uh... Mr. Blackie, you're swearing out to Dunnoy. Mr. Blackie, what do you think your chances are this morning? Are you listening to the man? Look down. You don't think you've got a chance then? No. What do you think's got uh, the chance of winning this uh, bird I'll today? Will it win it? Well, they tell me, Mr. Short. Mr. Mr. Short's been shot in his mouth over. He's going to win it, yes. Yes, Mr. Short is uh, the favourite, you should say. Aye. He's all young blue. Oh, I won't go short. Well, I think Mr. Gill's a chance. You think Mr. Gill's got a chance? Well, they tell me. And I stopped it. They tell me Mr. Dean is going to run a short second. Oh, does it? Oh, does it? Mr. Elvis Presley, the first man to go camera shy. Oh. Don't fucking hammer. I'm not camera now. Oh, video. <laughs> That's why I'm going to the end. I have to fucking ruin. That's the winner. Hey, go what do you think your chances are, Mr. Shaw? Well, I don't think it can lose. What do you think it can lose? I don't think it can lose, young man. Well, good luck, sir. And it's welcome to the Royal Arms Paddock via Redbrook Colliery Retired Miners. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say, what do you think to this, this paddock? Do we concrete it? No, yes. <laughs> what do you think, what do you think is available to do it, Mr Norton? Well, we've got to employ people around here in this area. Kevin yeah. Green. Fucking <laughs> hell. Yes, we've even got the window cleaners Charlie on. Charlie Reed will damp it off. Yes, the window cleaners mind have a bash at this. Wait, I... Go on, tell him. <laughs> Not a great deal coming out of Landlord, alias Pete Cunt of the year 1987. 
87 he got sacked. Good morning and welcome to the Royal Arms Pigeon Palace. Mr Blackie, can I have a word? Come here. Come here, come here. Get away! He's definitely made no comment here this morning. <laughs> Hey! From that yard, this last first jump for the trial. There is no way it's coming, Kev. From that yard, it's coming. Forty! Yeah, I should have seen it. Forty five! What's that yard, Dad? You were? Fifty! Fifty-five. Yeah. Fifty-nine. Hey, playing with that? We see it this afternoon. This afternoon. Yeah. That building. Ah, bread. Ah, bread. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't train that. We didn't look after it. Well, I did long enough. That it would not work. I didn't have it long. I only had it six months. I passed two past two months. Very lucky, didn't I? Hey. I left it in oil for him. 55. There's a car, aren't we? Hop! Five on. Five on that pigeon. It's five on that pigeon. It's fucking camera bloke, what's going to get fucking cracked? <laughs> When's it to be back now? Tomorrow. If you don't get smashed with it, great lads here. <coughs> hey! Come on here! 55! I got a flash then. We didn't tent again. I'll tell him I thought fucking fly was wrong. Hey, what? 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 Hey,
Zij is alleen bij een fucking club. Hallo Norris. Morning Trevor. Ik heb hier samen thuis. Dave Short, all family of Shorts flew pigeons at Royal Arms for years. Now that man used to work at Dublin, but I forgot his name. This is a game, this is a right game, this different to Ovid altogether. I said these just fly a mile, all the way around that, all the way around that loft, all the way around that. The sort of eight goes and flies them up, they only fly cocks, and you can see them when they're flapping them. Years old, this pigeon racing. Mm -hmm. It, it mining were years. It went back years, Dave. I don't know a lot of these faces, but the, the, they'll be well-known characters around there, isn't it? It was a big thing. Usually have a couple of mates. He put pigeon cock. What they'll do? They'll have a pigeon loft. They'll have the uh, 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 royal arms, and they'll go round with a mile circle from let from middle at loft and that mile circle will meet up with parts uh, footpaths and places that's easy accessible for lads to get to when they're training you want a stopwatch and they'll be synchronised there'll be a let man in loft area and there'll be another let man at mile point and then chart the flyer's name out at mile point and then at loft and he gets any ways in and he gets ready to liberate his cock. They've worked, the two Letmans let, worked it out, who's going first, second, third and fourth. And when they get to liberation point, he'll shout Fairbanks, and Fairbanks goes with his cock, and he'll give him ten, five, and up, and liberate his pigeon. And they'll go straight as, straight as a die, as quick as they can, back to the loft. Well they do, that's what it's all about. It's, mm. it's, uh, it's a widowhood system of pigeon flying. Mm. And they'll get, they'll, he'll, he'll get his end, you'll see him in the middle of the circle with his end. Mm. Come on, call him cock in. And as soon as he comes to land, he'll throw his head down. And as soon as that cock lands, he'll shout let. And he'll stop his clock. And then that's time that that pigeon's done. Then the call next to that and off they go again. But there's some characters on here, a lot of, a lot of names that I don't know them. You see, other version of pigeon flying name that I flew, I flew, I flew overs, and we'd go from 90 mile to 500, 600 mile. Mm. We would go across channel, but these were straight, were a straight mile. He's getting his head ready, there, look. No, not that they're doing the basket is cocks, so he's taking his cock now. That's shorty, this lad was curly. One of the brothers, the brothers, I don't know how many there were, but uh, they love, they love this game, they've done it for years. I should imagine the dad did it, used to work at the little red room, 
Ik wil waar ik klop voor je. Dat is niet ik voor je is. Klop niet. Hoe zou ik dat doen? Ik doe het nooit. Wel hoor, ik doe het nooit. Nee. Zo, dit is toch een stroom is er iets. Nou, wat is het nou, wat is het? Of kool is nee, maar het is met die spaal nou. Die spaal is het mijlpoint. Zie je, zie je, zie je, die kop bij kom in. Yeah. Wat is het doen daar? Is twee, en die stroom is er daar en... voor kop te komen in. En dan is hij nog een straight back in en die kop komt vallen in. Maar als soon as dat kop touch het vloer, light. En dat is zijn second zin. I wonder where they got that word from, light. No, what, 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 what part of that light was? It's, I think they call him a light man at all. They, 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 mm. they dined in with clock. They mm. call him a light man. Mm. This lad used to work at Dolly, but I, don't, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. You know, Charlie Reed's pal. He looked down, he seen his cop mm. come in. He's come in. Then he'll put his, throw his head down. He'll throw his head down. The ace comes. And as soon as he... Wait, and then the stop clock. From 45 seconds to a minute and five. Just depending on where we are one for another. They're all characters. They're all, they're all, it's usually on a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And on, on, what is there, Charlie? Well, there's a dispute all up Charlie's in the middle. That's in the air. That's Charlie. Like, uh, uh, what are you, so you went to Dorothy, didn't you? I went to Dorothy, huh? The dispute on him to be in death. Who's this? Is he a man? I don't, I don't know who he is, but I think he did a bit of homing flying and all. <laughs> he, he comes third, this lad, I know yes. that. Man. I've been a few times. They were at uh, Royal Arms. Mm. They were at uh, Bob Brennan. Mm. It uh, wasn't a common. Well, the court public wasn't a common. White Mayor. No, uh. White Mayor. Uh. They used to have one years ago at Donny, the jockey, back at jockey. Some right tails that comes out of these. He's had the cock, she's cock. They've taken what we to train for this. Wet. Wet. Look, this what he says. Got third, Andy. got third, hold on. got third, hold on. <laughs> oh, Charlie pointing out there, look. <laughs> They've been training all week for this day, we should take that into mm. consideration. On a post bike, with a mile, with a, with a pigeon in the basket. Training it all time. And would they have a young bird race name? And they fly for a lot of money. Mm. They were mm. flying for a hell of a lot of money. I mean, you look at the eighties. Mm. They, they flew for a lot of money, and it was this young bird legend. First young bird race at Sears. It's a marvellous film, this. A lot of competition. Mm. A lot of competition in it. A little fair, but they flew from here at all, lessons. Father and son, I thought they'd have been here. <laughs> this is here, they'll show Pete 87. That's what I'm guessing. I old fisher with Grizzle Cock, Dave, he left Woody, Woody Ward racing, he left it off. Woody Ward racing me, he took it over and put it under the bed at the head. Somebody in the head, because it got a lot of money, you better. Uh -huh. Zilled the oil into it, got a pace, you went there. And they were firing, they were firing bees and beards in for it to fill it send with snap. When it come to racing, they're all giggling. But fishing, he want to ride to them, fishing and get this pigeon grizzly to him. And he want grizzly water racing, we had a bit loft. So he takes it and he won it. So he it. wants it, they thought they'd, uh, they thought they'd sabotage uh, racing race bird, but they hadn't. Oh, brilliant this. It was a Sunday morning, 10 or 11 o'clock. We just have to know it off for a couple of pints. I mean, pub's completely... It's gone, I think. Ah, it's obliterated. Yeah. Pile of bricks. Yeah.
I don't, I don't know whether they do it, I don't think they do it anyway, I know that they did it in Feston, at uh, White Bear, they did it uh, here. No, Dale, when I was a young kid, when I was a kid, but with Dale. They did all sorts of things, didn't they? Ah, they did yeah. Kingston for the whole part there. Ah. They were, they were quite, uh, it was really a popular pastime. Mm. Mm. Same with all the pigeons. There's far and few between now uh, that flies, that flies pigeons. Well, it's a dear game. It's a dear hobby. And there's no humans coming into the game. There's no young flyers coming no. into the game. It's a shame. Uh, it, uh, do you still do it then, right? you? No, I, I packed in last year, mm -hmm. I packed in. See here about here, we canteen at right hand side of it, and then we go straight through into baths and sent we used to go through then up steps to number three shaft, I think it was there were three shaft and two. And then there were park gate shaft orbit railway that's cut it, off. Um it's we at Pit War, this but the, we've we went for no indication, have we on That's right. We we're, we're looking at round about this area, Dave. There mm. were two shafts. Mm. There were two shafts, one and two, and we're looking somewhere. There's no indication to tell us or see the be, be two Dave. Uh, that would be another indication. Uh, that was surface cable well. Uh, that was surface cable. Come out of drift like. Come out of drift onto a surface cable well, and it delivered. It delivered in this area here. Ah, uh, I mean that there. An obvious thing that that's 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 old muckstack there, Donna's muckstack muck there, yeah. of course, which, which is now yeah. just of it. Uh, yeah, treed of it. Treed of it. Yeah. You wouldn't tell the other muckstack there, would you? Nature's yeah, took its course there. Yeah. Uh, heritage. Uh, pictured in uh, 1987. 1987. Mm. So, what's these buildings? Were they, were they there? Hey? No, the, the, no, this were all pit yard. What are you? This were all pit yard. Oh, what are uh, you gear? No, we bought that. Go on, go on. I can never remember this being used to ride men, but I know during an 84 85 strike with an emergency, a broken submergible pump and small mines and a special permission to come down and repair it. So, we had two wheels are that used to be a water shaft box, uh, for, for standard. Uh, we used to call it standard shaft. That was a shaft then. That was that was a shaft. Yeah, but this, yeah. but this actual area where we are now, this, this what? This area now. It's not. It's about here, Dave. Yeah. Where Lebrook Gall from Fed and Eggmore used to come up Iron Drift. On we one, on we what drift had it then? We what drift had it? Where, where, where did it come out? It, it come out. It, this what cable belt did. That was it? This oh, yeah. cable belt run here. If you went up that path, you'll see where cable belt. Belt went up here. Straight so actual it. drift must have been here then? No, no, no it, was, here. it was here. So, so here. what did he do? It, it come out of one belt it onto off another? One cable belt mm -hmm. off from underground onto another land cable belt. Right. That went up there. I yeah. think that's more handle on it, isn't it? That's yeah. belt laying that. that. Yeah. 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 I used Man. to spend hours at yard doing bearings and that for pulleys here. I can remember it, you know what, even even motor it motor wheel built in 67, you could see it then, you could see cable belt. I was on his walls you what fitted out here and we spent hours doing all bearing for pulleys and, and yeah. everything with it. In fact we found some fish plates and you know while we've been digging, uh, we found some, in fact they're up at shed aren't they mate? Uh, fish plates, just to, just oh, to tell everybody what we're doing. I'll show you. Yeah. Uh. In fact we've got two great big ones somewhere. That's what they use between rails to stop them together with bolts in. Yeah. Fish plates, they call them. Yeah. Like, it's something like railway sleepers. Yeah. yeah. The three transformers and the pump situated in there, that were the pump pumps. But of course they've gone like them. They've gone and we've converted it into a well. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ring girdle. Ring girdle. 
I'll tell you what shapes we're there that we fetch quite a lot. Oh, right. Yeah? I have to sandblast it and paint it. Mm. One's going there and others going to it, but mm. Mill, I think. Where is what the, we call the old reservoir then? We can here. rest, is that where we're at? Yeah. 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 Mr. Clowney! Don't do the devil! Ah, ah, that's not the devil! I'm just talking about this! Are we back in the band? Are we 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 in the band? Fred Clowry, now Fred, uh, you're with me, Fred at uh, the levee of course, and um, you're at NUM uh, the president, they were it, what president, and then you went to Royston? Well, Royston Drift, our, an NUM branch official for many, many years there, as you full well know. Yeah. Today brings back uh, proud memories yeah. of the mining industry, working together with lots of colleagues, lots of memories, and today it's been a great turnout by people not only from Dodworth, but across Barnsley. Yeah. It's nice to see the banner, the church lane banner, and people marching behind with the Dodworth band. What yeah. a great turnout we've seen today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we've already seen films, Fred, um, on Royston, uh, the wonderful films in 1987. I mean, you were, you, were, you were still there. Royston, of course, shut in 89. And then you went on to be a, a councillor, of course. That's right, yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, well known in community, and yeah, I mean, uh, it, it is, it's what I mean, I'm just looking over there, Frank, see the old muck stack here, done a tree dover, not grass dover, a tree dover, but what a sad state of affairs well, like, isn't it? Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really sad state of affairs, mm. not only that, the legacy of the mining industry, it is now being forgotten. Yeah. Well, let's not forget the amount of jobs it created for our economy, brought millions of pounds into the local economy, not in the mining industry, but, but town, the Barnsley was built on coal and it was buzzing for many, many years. Today, lots of our young kids now, they're going through the school education, can't get a job, they're on the dole, and that, what a crying shame on successive governments. I mean, don't forget, Fred, I once read um, that um, every miner, I think there are nine ancillary other workers, you know, even the bloke who make pork pie, Albert Hurst, you know, and th then what made steel, of course, for rings and, and this, that, and other. It, 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 it was a big blow, wasn't it? It was like a knock-on effect. You're absolutely right there. Yeah. When they closed the mining industry down in Barnsley, it took £50 million out of the local economy, and mm. that's a lot of money. Mm. And how do you replace that? No. It's not being replaced today. No. And as you can see, we've rising in unemployment. Young, young kids, it used to be 18 to 24s, now it's 18 to 34s. And many people now in the 40s and 50s are out of work, and, and fearful for those people who are still in work. Jonathan Brab, what a Barnsley chap And he liked a pint of ale That's why his nose were all as red And his cheeks were all as pale And if I stopped him on the street To pass the time of day In drunken tones as he raised his hat This is what he'd say He back up but I'm cold me back gum, but I'm cold Me arms are like stone, me feet's like lead I am been warm since I left me bed I get right up to fire As near as I'm allowed Then I might get greatly warm at last 